In 2024, Oxilabs tracked the pricing of 61,000 products from August 13th to November 29th. That's peak Black Friday season, so Black Friday prices should have been the lowest ones. Well, as it turns out, it was only true for 28% of products. 72% of Black Friday deals were not saving customers any money compared to the previous period for this particular data sample. And that's the practice of fake discounts, where companies inflate a product's original price or make it up altogether and then lower it through sales to create the illusion of a discount. So when Hostinger started their Black Friday campaign offering up to 80% off, I decided to check the receipts. Currently, the Hostinger premium plan is $2.49 a month with the Black Friday discount applied. Then I have a screenshot of a pricing table from August 12th. The price was $2.99 a month. That's only a 50 cent discount or 16.7%. Nowhere near the advertised 80%, but to be fair, it is still the lowest price it has been all year. Similar story for the business and cloud startup plans. On August 12th, the price was $3.99 and $7.99 respectively, and now it's $3.29 and $7.49. That's a 17.5% drop and just a 6.3% for the cloud plan. But even during August, these products were advertised as 75% off or 71% off. And now they're 80% off? So what's going on? What's the real price of these products? Where's the 70 or 80% discount coming from? And what's the actual discount that you are able to get during this Black Friday season? Well, web hosting is a subscription service. You can buy a subscription that renews every month or you can prepay for a longer period of time. Like one year, two years, three years, etc. The longer your billing period, the cheaper it's going to be, but it requires a larger upfront investment because you're no longer paying monthly. The discounts you see right here are actually the discount you get for buying four years in advance. Because if you pay monthly, the premium plan is $11.99. But if you buy four years in advance, it's $2.99 a month. And if you buy during Black Friday, it's $2.49 a month. And if you use my additional 10% discount, it's $2.24 a month. So the actual savings you're getting is 25% off if you're using the coupon code, which is still pretty good in my opinion. You're only spending $107 this way. But that's only for the first four years of web hosting. After it's time to renew, these discounts no longer apply. And the price will be $527. That's where the 80% off is coming from. They're comparing the renewal price to the introductionary price. But essentially, these plans cost $2.99, $3.99 and $7.99 all year. It's still worth buying during Black Friday because you are guaranteed to save money, especially with the additional coupon codes. But keep in mind that the bill will be quite large after your first four years are up that are discounted. But even this isn't the final price because they only cover the domain name and email marketing for one year. For the rest of the three years, you'll have to pay yourself. So the cost of ownership for four years would be broken down like this. $107 for the server space, $0 for security like backups and SSL certificates, $0 for the drag and drop website builder tools, $14 for email marketing because you only get one year for free, and $54 for a .com domain name. Because again, you only get this free for one year. $175 for four years or $44 a year. That's the total cost of ownership for the premium plan. And if you renew for four more years, it would be broken down like this. $527 for the server space, $72 for the website name, because now you're not getting that free name for one year, 
$76 for the email marketing tools because again, you're not getting that free trial and now you're being rebuilt a higher amount because your introductionary price is over. $675 for four years or $168 a year. So in total, if you buy now and keep your website for eight years, your average cost is $106 a year or $8.80 a month for a fully functional and self-sufficient website that doesn't need any additional purchases made for it to work properly. So I hope now you better understand what you're actually saving, around 25%, what you're actually spending and what you can expect to spend into the future. If you're ready to get started with hosting it, because honestly, it's still a pretty good deal. You do get a lot of website creation tools for free included within your plans. I have a tutorial for that right here. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you around.